The National Weather Service radar in Grand Rapids will go offline next week for upgrades. This has been happening at radar sites all across the country. Here's a time lapse of the work in Detroit a few weeks ago. The project starts Monday and will take about two weeks to complete. The Storm Team 8 meteorologist Emily Skydema talked with the experts out at the National Weather Service to learn about the repairs and how it will impact us. What is the Service Life Extension Program? The National Weather Service Service Life Extension Program of the Doppler Weather Radar um, is a way to upgrade and uh, make sure our Doppler Weather Radar Network is sustainable into the 2030s. Uh, these radars were built um, in the late 80s and installed in the 90s. Uh, they are approaching their design uh, lifespan, which was about 25 years, but the upgrades we've done since 2016 uh, will allow these radars to extend their life into the 2030s. The project has four main uh, replacement parts. In 2016, we got a new signal processor at our radar. In 2018, uh, they replaced and refurbished the transmitter. Uh, this uh, is our third project, and it's gonna replace the pedestal, which is the working mechanism inside the radar that spins the dish. And then lastly, our fourth project scheduled for next year is a replacement and refurbishment of equipment shelters at the site. Okay, so this wasn't just a one project and done. This is a program that's spanning a lot of years and taking some time to complete. Yeah, the Service Life Extension Program is, is upgrading all 159 of the radars nationwide. Uh, we're the 93rd uh, radar to have the pedestal replaced in this program. So what is the process for making these repairs? I know uh, you have to lift the ray dome up and off, so I can assume that's a, that's a big project. The, the ray dome itself has a 30-foot circumference. So it's pretty big. Um, it weighs about 4,000 pounds. Yeah, the pedestal replacement that starts on February 14th and lasts for two weeks, uh, it takes about six hours to take the dome off, remove the old pedestal, put a new pedestal up, and then replace the dome, and about seven to 10 days uh, to complete the installation and the calibration of the new equipment. Okay, so in the meantime, you mentioned it will be down for about two weeks. Uh, how can us in Grand Rapids get some reliable radar information since the primary source will be down? There's 159 operational radars across the country. We have a number of them that border us. Uh, Weather Service Detroit, Northern Indiana, Gaylord, Chicago, Green Bay, and Milwaukee are gonna cover our area as they do uh, uh, all the time. We do have the data available to us to make sure we're still providing life-saving warnings. There's no perfect time to take the radar down for two weeks, um, you know, but it's, it's very important for us to have these upgrades in place before our traditional severe weather season, uh, which is important to leverage that radar for uh, to, to help us detect any of that potentially deadly severe storms. So if we miss a few snowflakes over the next couple of weeks, that's a short-term sacrifice for the long-term game of making sure we have our radar upgraded before severe weather season.